Hey everyone, Sean here and welcome to this video. I uh, just wanted to make a follow up on the whole uh, Genshin boycott thing that uh, involved with Natlin, right? That uh, takes inspiration from uh, West African cultures and South American Aztec stuff as well, Mayan, you know, and uh, even New Zealand and uh, a lot of places actually, a lot more places than I thought, right? It's like this melting pot of a lot of cultures and um you know a lot of those cultures though do have a lot of dark-skinned people right um and uh, the same went with uh Sumero and uh same thing kind of happened right uh you know lack of dark-skinned people and their ma main character designs right you, you know if you, if you were talking about just the playable characters um there is a lack there and even if there are quote unquote dark skinned people they're just like light tan or just you know maybe or maybe just tan at best you know and I, I think um personally for me I do welcome uh more you know um character designs right variety is a spice of life but you know at the end of the day um I'm a gamer so I'm just gonna keep playing the game if the game is fun right and so <clears throat> Um, a lot of people have taken this issue seriously um, and called for a boycott because they just um, did not include uh, a lot of characters with darker skin tones enough. Um, you know, again, it's just like light tan or just tan at best. And of course, um, the big, the biggest like thing, the biggest, <clears throat> I would say, uh, at least from my perspective of them all, was Mavuika. Mavuika. Um, is some sort of like goddess or something from uh maui i believe so uh please correct me if i'm wrong but uh, but, ba but basically it does take from well uh a culture with i believe dark-skinned people and so right so if you're going to take direct inspiration um from a culture right you know would it be nice to um <clears throat> like reflect that as much as possible in those character designs right but you know hoyoverse really made it clear that these this is a inspiration of sorts this is a fictional world and essentially right they're trying to just take these cultures and not so much the people directly and um and put that into their the character designs depending on which region it is right although it is interesting because like a number of regions such as Inazuma and Liyue, right, they're just directly like, you know, um, just one thing, right? Uh, Inazuma is just Japan, you know, it's not Japan and South Korea or whatever, or just Korea, right? Um, although interesting, there's no, there's no Korea inspired um, region, but you know, whatever. Um, uh, Inazuma is just Japan, right? It's just straight 100% Japan inspired, right? Liyue obviously is just China is just china you know um but monstat is like a blend of german and other uh parts of europe and meanwhile fontaine is like france but also some other parts of europe as well which is all uh, kind of interesting um Sumeru is also another melting pot of sorts of middle eastern cultures and then um Nathan is, a, is more of a mix you know you got west africa or just african right and then you have um uh, south american and then you have new zealand even and like just more places right just scattered um uh, scatterbrained quite a bit and you know kind of put this into into this melting pot and then you have natlin right which which definitely explains the sort of overall design this time around for natlin and um you know again people have a call for boycott and um, a lot of it is from the petitions right which usually does not work because a lot of companies don't care especially if it's overseas so you know um even if yes it was a hundred thousand signatures it doesn't really mean anything because um the issue is that these boycott you know people or groups of the the group of the boycotters um really uh don't understand how things work unfortunately um it, it seems like they're just really either just young or um uh, have 
something going on in their in their real life because um, they definitely do not know how a boycott works. You know, boycotting something means you have you really have to drop it, right? Um, that is like the simple way to explain it. So, um, you know, when you want to boycott Genshin, you have to. You have to stop playing Genshin. You can't get on. You can't just like be like, "Oh, I'll be free to play" or something like that. Yeah, you're not putting money into the game, but you're providing the numbers for um, Hoyoverse to be like, "Hey, you know, this is um, we have these many players and such," and it, it just it, it creates engagement. It creates more opportunities for Hoyoverse to expand their horizons to other investors and stuff like that, <clears throat> because those. Numbers look good, and then um, you have the whales, right, to fuel, um, at, to actually fuel the game, right. So essentially, um, the numbers help uh, keep the game going, one way or the other. So by just saying, uh, "Oh, I want to boycott the game," but still playing it, is not going to work. That's not what boycotting is. You know, you have to. Absolutely, drop the game. Stop playing it. Don't get on. And in fact, you you probably should just, uh, delete the account too, right? But the issue with that is that you're asking people, millions and mil millions of players that already put a lot of time into a game like this, and for them to make that decision of like, do they really want to throw away all that time and effort, you know, to make these characters and love them, but you know, because oh you know um right like this boycott is asking for it because of these uh, characters are lacking the skin tones or whatever right am i really gonna do that and that's that's the decision you really have to come to to make right do you really believe that you know um that do you really believe this cause right that's that's really some of those questions those are the questions you really have to ask yourself right and so, um, unfortunately, a lot of people fail to sort of understand that and, and and take that real initiative. So at the end of the day, they're just kind of like huffing, like just hot air, right? Huffing out hot hot air, yelling at the clouds, whatever you want to call it. You know, it, it's it's just, it's also um, a huge, huge uh, form of virtue signaling, right? It's um, you know, it, 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 they're just like not really doing anything while they're telling others to like, hey, you should do this and stuff like that. It's just, um, it's it's really not putting a dent into anything really. You, you know, it, they're just like trying to do it for the clout, you know, for the uh, seems like, um, you know, by saying stuff like that, they get the attention potentially, right? And a lot of, a lot of times, yes, they do engage in those comments and in and, and they, and they get the attention stuff like that so right and the thing is right is that even if the boycott did actually go if it actually went all you know um according to um plan and all that stuff right um everyone gets off right uh in the west and you know all the boycotters actually boycott the game and stuff like that it's it's not gonna really do anything because Genshin is a Chinese game at the end of the day. And as long as the Chinese players are still playing the game, um, that's really all they care about. You know? It just happens so that they brought it to the West and, you know, um, and be like, hey, check out what we got here, you know? So, you know, um, I feel I, I, I am lucky to experience this uh, game and I, I really like it for what it is. I, lo I love the story, I like the characters and all that stuff, you know, and yeah, like I, I would say absolutely like um, would dark skin characters be great to ask for? Absolutely. I mean, like I said, variety is a spice of life. Um, it's it's it would be nice to have more diverse character designs when it comes to skin tones, but it's just something uh, uh, that's not going to happen in that fashion, right? Like, um, it's their decision. Hoyo is like that. That's how they really act, and you know, um, 
uh, they're just gonna say, oh, it's you know a, uh, a work of fiction and stuff like that. It's a fictional world. It's not supposed to like really represent uh, real people and anything like that. Um, that's really what that that's re that they really doubled that um, doubled down on that because um, during the Natlin live stream, <clears throat> um, they made it very clear in that corner of the video. Like it says, it's a work of fiction. Blah blah blah. I mean. Um, you know, it, it really goes to show that's really what they believe. And, um, you know what, that's what they're going to believe, you know? Uh, so I, I just, you know, at the end of the day, we'll keep playing the game cause I like it. Right. Um, the, the real issue though, it's like, um, these boycott people, right. Um, are just absolutely, just absolutely out of their minds. Because, yeah, you know, they have these like hashtags like uh, boycott Hoyleverse, right? And yet they still, <laughs> they still have the gall to div uh, to to promote their character, uh, like you know, for example, here, right? Just reading it off of this, right? Daily Kachina, the Yellow Heart, hashtag boycott Hoyleverse, right? The people, people, uh like this have the gall to to um ask for boy i mean to say boycott and stuff like that to to cry boycott but yeah <laughs> but um yeah and then someone some uh, somebody commented uh yeah you, sh you should kind of remove your uh, boycott thing from your name then and, and uh, the, uh daily kachina says i'm free to play thanks though and then with that that little smiley uh cat face or whatever you call it you know what I mean? It's just man. It, Gen Genshin. Let me let me let me say something about Genshin, right? The worst part about Genshin is not so much the stuff in the game of itself, um, and especially in the past, it it, it had um uh, a, a number of things that a lot of people were asking for, like end game stuff, combat, all that stuff, but right. Really, I think the worst thing that comes right after that is the community. We're talking about a game that exploits me the the mental right of players to in order to exploit them of their money, you know, gambling. Right? They they exercise the the gambling aspects, and it really definitely um you know requires the exploitation of the mind for them to be like oh i gotta pull for this character i gotta pull for this character you know and then if they don't get that character well what else, what else can you do i mean either take the l or pull out the wallet right so um that's just kind of how it is you know with um gotcha game communities uh, you're more likely to run into people that have just issues man and i feel like uh these boycotters have some sort of um issue that where they just cannot understand how things work really you know when you ask for a boycott you cannot just say boycott and then just keep going with the well, the, the 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 thing that you're against with, right? You can't just say like, oh yeah, fuck McDonald's, and then just go to McDonald's and still get your hamburger or whatever, right? That's not that it it, it makes little sense. You have to drop what you're doing, right? You know, it, there has been a lot of boycotts throughout time, and um, you know, especially for like big ass companies like Amazon and stuff like that. But you just cannot turn turn it down because it's so convenient. Um, it brings stuff to your door so fast and smoothly for the most part. And, um, you know, yeah, there's some hitches, but, you know, customer service, uh, for the most part will come to the rescue and all that stuff. Right. But yeah, like when you're asking for a boycott, you're asking people to drop the game where they put a lot of time, a lot of effort and well, money as well. And do you really think they're going to do that just because one feels like oh yeah dark skin tone dark skin tone diversity is very lacking blah blah, blah right um i like 
you have to really ask yourself that and I, and I think at the end of the day most people are going to say no they're going to turn turn away and just keep playing the game because they're not going to just drop it um just like that now a good example though of a boycott kind of working was i believe a blizzard right during the time with i think it was like diablo or something like that and um and, and not to mention like the whole thing about um blizzard with the sexual harassment stuff and all, all that in between um uh, a number of players actually deleted their accounts uh whether it be like in wow or diablo or something like that i i, I forget which game it was but um that that was that was that was a very um big calling to uh blizzard and i think uh they did something about that or whatever it was but um that 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 is that is that actual dedication. That is what a boycott is, you know. And of course, um, the pe the workers, right? They were they were on strike essentially. They had their signs and everything. They didn't come to work or anything like that. Um, during the whole uh, sexual harassment stuff, right? Frat culture, uh, frat boy culture, or anti frat boy culture, rather, all that stuff, you know. Especially the women, all that stuff, you know. That that is actual dedication, but to just just sit there on your computer and type out boycott ain't gonna do a damn thing unless you actually do a boycott, right? <laughs> you know, um, it just it, it it sounds simple, but people just don't do it, right? Because they're too addicted to the game, or they love the game too much for them to actually perform said action, right? So. Just look, look at this. Just, just this alone is like so blatantly like con um, uh, contradicting, right? Boycott Hoyleverse, and yet, um, <laughs> right? They they pulled for the characters they were like complaining about. You know what I mean? Like it's just so ass backwards. Just, just, just image, this image alone, right? There's so much wrong with this, right? Like. Um, and thank you, uh, pack a girl for, for the thread, by the way, but yeah. Um, and look at this, right? If you look at the profile, it says, um, Hoyover supporters, DNI, um, right. And then not to, I mean, this, I know this is like extra, but free Palestine. Oh man, this is just, this is just virtue signaling at its finest, right? It's just, ah, man, you know? This stuff kind of gets to me, man, because it's just like it's just like if you're really if you really believe these things and actually do it, then do it right, you know. Um, I remember like I I kind of uh learned my lesson right when I was uh um a little a little naive on certain things, and uh, that was during the Hel Helen uh Taylor or Helena Taylor, excuse me, uh situation with Bayonetta, right? Because um she uh, allegedly says or no she allegedly wasn't getting paid enough even though um platinum games came out later saying that well we offered more money but uh but uh helena taylor um essentially told a half truth and then you know um i jumped the gun and, and sided with uh taylor and uh i said i wasn't i wasn't gonna buy the game because of that right and uh um well i mean that that is an example of boycotting right because i'm not buying the game you know so right <laughs> right so that's my way of saying like hey i don't support that or whatever but um the truth came out and then i you know so i learned my lesson that uh, not to sort of jump the gun you gotta you know you should wait the other side of the story right uh not just one you know as much as i love um, Helena Taylor's work as Bayonetta, right? Uh, I, I, uh, she came off of that as like, like that underdog, right? Against this big company, but um, in this situation, the big company wasn't at fault. It was the individual, right? So, you know, I learned my lesson there, but um, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I wasn't like, hey, you should boycott, boycott the game and then I still buy the game, right? It, that would be ass backwards of me to do. You know, I actually was going to go with go through with it, but, you know, the other side of the story came out. So 
that was my sort of um, experience with that closest when it comes to uh, boycotting something. I've really never like boycott anything because, you know, um, it's it's difficult. It's a difficult thing to do to actually boycott, right? But to it, but it's it's just so so easy to just say it, right? It just feels like you're you're doing something right. Hence the whole virtue signaling aspect, right, of the of the situation. Um, but yeah, like this thread is just like filled with like um, so much wrong with it, you know, of of the whole boycott, right? Um, this looks like well. Um, <laughs> this was another um boycott or funny enough another account that's just uh, farms the clout off of a uh, a, a Hoyleverse character right I think this including uh uh Zuen uh, um and looks like Jane Doe maybe uh, anyway so you know I had to do it chat I apologize to all my boycotting uh, oofies out there God jeez um even if uh you. I'm, if I'm even classed as that anymore after this, you know, <laughs> oh, look at how many polls I got. Look what I, look what I got. Look what I bought. Look at, look, I bought, <laughs> um, I bought the, I bought the outfit for, um, Shenhe. That's, it's such a, oh my God, dude. Like this, this is the people you're, 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 you're dealing with, man. It's. It's crazy. It's crazy how, but backwards the, the um these people are. I'm sorry to say, but that it is. It is what it is. That's the that's the reality of things, man. You know, reality sucks. It's uncomfortable, and that's why we have our escape with video games and such. But you have to face the music. You know, another one here. Um. I know it looks like nothing's going to happen, but at least we tried. We made our voices heard. We can't help it if uh, Hoyo decides to ignore ignore and silence us. We fucking tried. I'm proud of us. Um, um th and this is like in, in context. This is what this is um uh, showing off like the petition and everything, right? This is like the link to the petition, I believe. Um, I'm also happy. That because of the boycott, I've learned so much about the actual cultures that Hoyo is choosing to misrepresent. They're fucking beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Genshin is a good game. It would have only made it better if they included the people of the cultures and represented them respectfully. Because that's what they fucking deserve. Um, they deserve to be seen. Their culture is beautiful and they are beautiful. Okay, well, it's like... <laughs> you know... Then, I mean, like, if you really did not like, do not like how they do things, then you gotta, you gotta drop it, man. You gotta, you gotta, um, you gotta stop playing the game. You gotta stop playing the game. But this person's like, oh yeah, Genshin's a good game though. Like, oh my goodness. You know, hashtag boycott Hoy Hoyo, right? And again, the petition is not doing anything. That's not, that's, that's just nothing. That's virtual signaling. It's, it's, it's just fluff. It's em, em, it's like, uh, it's so empty, right? Like it's so hollow, hollow actions, you know. Oh, but look at this, right? Like the NPCs have um, people of of uh, dark skin tones and stuff like that. But yes, it's the um the playable characters like Yansan, for example, have. Uh, well, Eonsan is one of the only ones that have, that are close to sort of like the darker skin tones, but um, right. But the NPCs for some reason um are much closer to that, right? But you know, playable characters, right? Anyway, um, that's just the mods, right? Um, you know, Packer here points that out, right? And then somebody says, "Cool." Now do the actual characters we give a fuck about, right? You know, again, yes, I understand. Uh, spice, uh, the uh, variety is the spice of life, but you know, it, it it's just it's just how it goes, kind of, um, with Hoyo Hoyo stuff. And then look, uh, look at this, uh, Arabic Kanish 
boycott Hoy Ho uh, hashtag Ho uh, Hoyoverse, right? But this is this is <laughs> but you're still promoting a character, right? From the same company. Like, come on, man. We all want to uh, know your opinion. If you're a pro boycott, should we stop playing the game uh, or not? I've heard good points from both sides. When pl uh, from one side, the player count is beneficial, but also money spending, uh, maintaining servers, investors, um, blah blah blah. Invest in the game that ha uh, that is in a lot of controversy right now. But on, uh, from the other side, not playing the game and stopping interacting with it in a positive way is a stronger point than just boycotting. But keep but but to but keep to play the game. Jeez, after all, why would you want to play a game? that is owned by a company that makes my minors wear sexual outfits in suggestive ways extremely racist not to mention blah blah, blah. um zionist what oh my god like why why are you even on this account why are you even like ugh. again you're, you're promoting a character but you have the hashtag right it's so ass backwards it's so ass backwards and I read this earlier, right? Uh, this like little cartoon, little comic thing, but it really kind of uh, sums up, um, like w really what these people are really doing, right? And I, I, I actually like laughed on the inside really hard. So <laughs> it says, as an American teenager, I have no actual virtues, morals, or convictions, and have an addiction to social media and the parasocial relationship I develop with these over-sexualized anime characters. I'll demand change as long as it doesn't involve me li uh, changing literally anything about my life. Slacktivism, baby. <laughs> That's really what it is. It, it's just, it's not actual activism. It's just, they're just sitting there on the computer, just putting on these hashtags, and oh yeah, and assigning the petition, that's it. They don't want to actually do the actual work. They don't want to actually want to actually protest, you know, um, to cut off their Hoyo account or whatever, to stop playing the fucking game. But uh next one says, I'll I'll just make a big ruckus on social media networks that are banned in China in hopes that Behoyo makes new characters that cater to my particular tastes and kinks. And if they don't, I'll make a bunch of edits of pale characters and compare hex color codes to attack people over dark-skinned characters. I'm a good person, right? This is the same community that goes after artists because uh, and, and throws death threats and uh, just absolutely nasty comments because that artist drew, uh, uh, drew a character a little too young in their eyes. Th that, that is the same community. Right, you can definitely see what's what what is wrong with a lot of those people, unfortunately. Well, it's a gotcha game at the end of the day, and they just don't know how to control themselves. Right, um, you have a big big glop of people that are like that. They they have these mental issues and such, and they're gonna go on Twitter or whatever social media site and just wanted to go um, on a rampage and just 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 spread that hate culture across um um through a number of people right including the english voice actors man it, it's it's nuts it's nuts although it's funny you know funny enough the english voice actors also voice their piece on the natlin stuff not all of them but a number you know a good number a uh, good handful of them but at the end of the day, it's it's just performative. They don't really do anything, it, um, you know. And um, they still voice the characters, right? So it's just an opinion. At the end of the day, it's not. It's just it's not gonna do anything, unfortunately. And um, that's really the end of it. But you know, it's, you, you have to see what it is, man. They 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 don't want to bite the hand that feeds them. And that is why these voice actors aren't really doing anything, really. It's, it's again, it's kind of like, I, I, I hate to say it like that, but it's virtue signaling, you know? You have, you, can you have an opinion? Of course you can. Can you say, can you say that, um, oh yeah, I wished to see dark skin characters. Of course you can. It's an opinion. You are allowed to have opinion. But if you're going to, you know, say boycott, boycott, if you're going to cry boycotting, then, well, it, uh, you know, Face the, it's, it's it's when it comes to actually facing the music, right? You got you gotta do it right. 
we got to do it right when it comes to boycotting stuff, you know? But boycott actually boycotting is difficult. It is hard. It is hard work, you know? And so, uh, I, you know, hey, um, I, I give kudos for people who actually go out and, um, you know, hold the hold the signs and everything and march through the streets and whatever, all that stuff, you know, actually take the time of their day, get their get off their ass and then go out in the street and then, you know, say what you believe and such like that. Right. See, if these same people actually went to the building in front of the building of MiHoYo or HoYoVerse, whatever the fuck, and um, protest there, then it's like, OK, that 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 means some sort of dedication and stuff like that right but these people are just gonna sit in front of their computers type whatever the fuck they think and that's that's to them doing something right but that's that's like virtue signaling and all that stuff it's just fluff you know it's it's just empty words at that point you know so um that's really my piece on and every, in everything. Um, it's just looking at stuff like this is just it make it makes my brain just hurt. Like just oh my like why? How how could these people actually think this 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 is how life works? You know what I mean? Ay yeah yeah you know. At the end of the day. If you're going to do something, you got to do it right. It's it's literally what that is. And that's something we already discussed on the podcast. My friend Zawad put it best. Like, if you're going to, if you're going to do, if you're, if you're going to boycott, then fucking boycott. Don't just sit there and yell, yell that kind of stuff and not actually do anything about it. Because signing a petition and um, <laughs> being free to play is not going to do anything. But, it, but it, I mean, it just goes to show that they're too addicted to drop the game. That's really how that goes. You know, it's... It's, um... Eye-rolling. <laughs> it's one way to put it, so... Oh, man. I mean, I guess we can take a look at the, the hashtag right now and see how it really goes. Yeah. So... This is yeah. This is literally what a what um boycotting is, right? Britannica, all that stuff. To refuse to buy, use, or participate in in some uh, in something as a way of protesting, right? So, um, again, I, I you know I hate to glaze myself uh again with that Bayonetta stuff, but you know I I was planning to not buy Bayonetta three because of what Helena Taylor says, Helena Taylor um said on um about her side of the story but you know i jumped the gun i didn't hear the other side of the story and when they did that was that that was like very revelating and then painted and it made taylor look bad and and um and she's not voicing the character anymore so you know i took the l on that one i learned my lesson but at least i was on the right track right if i was if if i was gonna boycott i'm not gonna buy the fucking game I'm not going to say boycott and then buy the game. That makes no sense. It's literally right there. This, that's the definition, right? So that, 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 that is the, the, the end of it. So that's my two cents on it. Um, on this whole subject, I think we can move on and, uh, pretty much like, um, I think we can pretty much like expect Hoyo to continue, you know, what they what they've they've always been doing. Um at least they're starting to improve Genshin right now. They 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 are starting to add the improvements for the gotcha stuff. In fact, they're like making it a little easier for the 50-50s, right? The 50-50 pities to be one in a way. Um more so if you're a whale, but um when you're a little more low budget than than you know that's a little less of a um, result, but it's something. And then they're giving us the free five, uh, standard five stars, which they'll add more and more to the library as time goes on. So Genshin is looking better than ever. Um, I haven't touched Natalyn just yet, but I will soon. And uh, check it out. So um, uh, but if you have any comments about the whole boycotting thing for, for uh, Genshin Impact, leave it down below. I mean... Um, 
you know, I, I, I welcome all perspectives, right? If you, if you, um, were trying to boycott, but you couldn't do it, leave it down below. Like, Hey, I mean, you know, I get it. Like it's, it's difficult, right? But don't go out, go out your way and, you know, create some negativity, right? Forcing people to, um, do something when you're not doing it right yourself. Right. Uh, and stuff like that. But, um, if you're, if you're, you know, kind of like sat back and everything and you didn't really care about the boycotting thing. Also, um, comment down below and you know, what did you think of this whole situation? So, um, that was my whole two cents. I know this video is pretty long, but, um, yeah, it gets, it gets me aggravated when, um, you know, when stuff isn't done right, you know what I mean? And people think they're doing the right thing the right way, but it's not really, you know, so. Anyways, thank you very much. This has been the Hog Talks for uh, the, the Boycott Genshin situation. Thank you very much, and hope to see you all in the next video. Ciao now.